Yeah. Whose TV is that? Yeah, I hear that too. I noticed that. That's in my background, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I say that as, as soon as I get started on, like, Super Mario Land 2. <laughs> Hashtag hilarity. Personally, like, okay, to explain, like, the quality of these two games. Okay, they're both really good games. Super Mario Land 2 I like more, and by comparison, it seems to be much easier to play. Ah, there you are. Yeah. You're breaking off a little bit. God damn it. No, I said that Super Mario Land 2 I seem to like more because I like the designs and the music in that one. But it's also comparatively much easier compared to um, the first one. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're all... They're both easy. But Super Mario Land 2 is just easier. Um... What is your favorite moral in Friendship is Magic? Hello. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Okay, why is it acting like that? <laughs> my favorite moral um, also roots down to my favorite episode being Hurricane Fluttershy, and that's that's mostly for a personal reason. Aw, oh, Jess, Jesse sent me a picture of her little girl. I'm going to post it in here. Yay! Hooray for innocence and youth. I know, look at her little girl. She's so cute. Aww. I'm actually going to die. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. She's dressed in the, one of those, uh, is it a, a, an Asian robe? A oh, kimono? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what you call it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I'm not even a <laughs> weeaboo when I knew that. <laughs> Shut up! Stop thinking about me! <laughs> Stop judging me in your thoughts! It's fine, you can be a lover, just let it go, okay? Thank you! Ask Golden, if you manage to blow through this one quickly, do you plan on playing Wario Land? You know what? That would be interesting to do at one point. Um, however, um, the thing is, I've never played that game. So, I think that would be an interesting, like, blind playthrough. Now, I have played uh, Wario Lands 3 and 4. I just haven't played the first two. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be fun to uh, go through at one point. Well, howdy doodly. Hello. Who goes? Deverer, that is. Hey, how you doing, man? Well, I haven't seen one of these in a while, so why not? Yeah. Da, 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 Plus, I got off work a while ago. I'm still aching. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh lover, I tend to call everybody, dude. So. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's kind of standard to uh, use that kind of term. Yeah. Yeah. Like. <laughs> like I'm I'm I mean hell I'm called a brony. Yeah. Every now and then the guys will call me bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, do you lift? <laughs> Dust Go thou even yourself. hoist. <laughs> well, I think just bro rolls off the tongue a bit better, kind of like dude. But dude They're... is like general neutral. I've yeah, seen like I, I don't know, because sis doesn't roll as easy as bro. I don't know. Either That's exactly bro, what I just said. Either bro or just yeah. bear with me, you just say girl. It's weird. It's probably because yeah. we were so accustomed to the, like, the gender terms in our childhood with boy and girl. I don't know. Ask everyone who's your favorite Disney princess. Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's a t for me. It's a tie between Princess Tiana and uh, Jasmine from Aladdin. Get off! That Tiana's my princess. Get off! No, she's mine. <laughs> she's mine. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, you can mine, share. Mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the reason why I um I like this deal. Uh, starting off with Tiana is because. She's, uh, she is a really terrific role model in terms of achieving what you want to do with your life. Like, she's a hard worker and such, and she's, uh, the character in a movie that broke the, uh, Wish don't. Upon a Star cliche. Uh, I don't think Mulan counts. Wait, Mulan, okay, Mulan is not a princess. She's a fucking no, badass she's... warrior. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ask all, have you guys seen Incredibles 2? I'm sorry if you already answered this. I only got here about 20 minutes ago. You're fine. I haven't had the chance to see it yet. Same so. here. I, I want to see it, though. 
Yeah, I've, I've seen it. I can't talk about it though, because obviously not everybody has. I, do do I, you I, recommend it? Is it as good as the first one? Well, I recommend it. I don't know. I can't say for sure if it's as good as the first one. Um, to be honest, I think I'm more excited for Jurassic World though. Thiago, what the <laughs> hell? What the? <laughs> What the heck? That's just so random. What? what? He says. Nani the fuck? Thiago says, what? okay, Fox, I get it. Your crotch is itchy. I'm going to hell again. Hashtag Golden Fox. What? I know, right? That doesn't even make any sense. Where the fuck did that come from? Que pasó? Context, I'll have please. He's drinking. I'll have whatever he's drinking. What the Jesus. hell have you been smoking, bro? <laughs> what, what the shit? Ask everyone, do you guys enjoy Dragon Ball series? Yes! I, mean, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't watched Dragon Ball in years. Um, What's wrong with you? Hey, at, le at least... At <laughs> least... Oh, the problem is that Dragon Ball is way overrated. And okay, I don't fight you to the death of them fight Oh, you. man. That was fighting man, words. you're gonna die. You're gonna <laughs> die now. You're gonna die now. Oh, no, you're, you're, you're gonna die because... Why you spent ten episodes just to convey five minutes? I'm gonna punch you in the face, and you'll already be. Well, dead. that's the original Dragon Ball Z <laughs> series. You need to watch Dragon Ball Z Kai. They fixed that problem. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll wait. You'll take five episodes instead of ten. I don't like this guy. This is a little guy I don't like. <laughs> Can but we I do consider him with holy fire. Yes. <laughs> Ask all favorite game to play when you want to unwind. Lately, for me, it's been golf with your friends. Except uh, I've been Doom. playing alone. <laughs> the, the what do you mean Doom. by unwind? You mean like relax or something? Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. Um, there have I've always been in the mood to like play one game after another whenever it like came to playing anything. I've been playing golf with your friends to unwind. Unfortunately, I've been playing without the friends. That needs to be fixed. <laughs> I first of all need to get the game. I would have to do also. Yeah. Ask Solar, who is your favorite character? Favorite to the main Fuck. heroes? Ah! Stop! <laughs> that. Oof. God damn it. I lost. Uh, favorite to the main heroes of the storm. Okay. Who is my favorite character? Favorite and main heroes of the storm? I, I, my main. Is Blaze, even though I haven't played him in a while, but he's just a lot of fun because he can soak up insane amounts of damage and he can also dish that damage back out. He's... Plus, you know, he's he's a fucking He has the ability to heal himself, which as a tank is like that that basically makes him unkillable as long as he can get away. You could say uh, he's OP. No, that some people would some people would say that, but still like there are there are plenty of characters that are a clear counter to him, like fucking Chromie, who I despise. <laughs> Chromie is the worst designed character. No, second worst designed character in any game ever. Second only. I to I, I love. I I dis. Oh God, no! Like fucking. I uh. I I discovered the magic that is Anubarak, though. I've been playing him more, and I discovered that he laughs in the face of Chromie because he has innate spell armor. Amber. So all of her. All of her attacks do shit damage, and it's hilarious. Actually, they just removed that. Okay, it's... that's not fair. That's like comparing oranges to apples. Yeah, thank you. I'm not answering that question. Fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> for shame. For shame! Yeah, it's apples are clearly apples. better. Go to the oh, fucking family. corner. It's not on your cow! Yeah, apples are clearly better, and you're wrong if you think it's otherwise. Okay, so you the apple, stick, then. A, <laughs> stick a banana with you. You, you're well, someone bananas likes, are good too. You like mm, bananas. So you are a bitch who likes mm, bananas. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather, uh, to answer your question, Yugi Lover, I prefer not to answer that. I'm still uh, mourning, put it that way. What's the question? Okay, here's a They question. were asking about my rats. Uh, uh, I had to, yeah, I had to yeah, put um, Dax down last week, so... Yeah, no, okay, that's... here's an interesting question. Here's an interesting question oh, I like shit. to start off with. Go ahead. Uh, Tunap asks, what are your thoughts on judging a cartoon series or movie before actually watching it? Now, you see, that's a bit... Um, it's not as that simple, because there's, because first impressions pay, play a big part into that, and then there's actually watching to see how it plays out. 
Because, like, let's be honest, when we first heard of Friendship with Magic, we all thought it was going to be another uh, really bad thing because of the GT. Yeah, but when you actually watch it, it was amazing. But, but, then you have things like the new Thundercats show, and it looks like it's just going to be horrible because that art style just doesn't work for a kind of show like that. And why would you take Thundercats and turn it into a comedy? I don't understand why. I grew up with the original, and the original was, like, Traditional Serious. style, drawled or animated drawn. and drawn. Thank you. I and uh, the shit. picture. I plunged myself in the same <laughs> goddamn Done. pit. Are you kidding me? So, Ask all. Have you, you seen have... the link I posted a few minutes ago? I we're we're kind of. Sorry, we're, we're a little busy focusing on the game and we're, we're paid to the try to answer questions. The so. chat, the chat uh, easily piles up, so it's easy for like a link to get lost. I yes. found it. All right. I'm putting but it in finish, the Discord. To keep, to keep going with the idea of like first impressions and everything, like when you have like bad first impressions like Thundercats, it can just really taint the end product no matter how good it is. You know what like, I don't understand? When you, when you, well, hang on, let me finish oh, first. Oh, sorry. Because when you, when you have a fundamental change like that, you are of course going to get backlash and that's just unavoidable because like, it's like taking, um, I guess you can say Avatar: The Last Airbender, just turning it from a nice cohesive story into a pure, com let's say, pure comedy again, or just horror. It's like, why would you do that? You just ruin, you just turn it into something else. Avatar anymore. I mean, as is, Avatar is one of the few shows that balances out its comedy so well, but still managing to take itself seriously. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I need to see what. The Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, 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 wait uh, Goldie is cursed to get something we can't see yet. Sorry. Up oh, there it is. Hey, Goldie, uh, you're supposed to avoid the fireballs. Shut up. Hey, guess what? Oh, invisible block! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Look, but I'm really that far behind because I don't see it. Oh. Maybe I missed it. Oh well. Okay, just to, to finish up my rant, like um, it is one you really shouldn't give it a full something a full judgment until you actually seen it. That's... But if something makes that bad of a first impression, I think you have some merit into judging it, or at least not giving a reason not why you won't watch it or not oh. support it. I mean, I, th that was basically me when I saw fucking Teen Titans Go. It was like, oh yeah, we're bringing back Teen Titans, but it's gonna be in, you know, and it's gonna be in a different format. I'm like, okay, you know, I, I want to see where they take. Oh, it's a really shitty quote unquote comedy, or they have one joke that lasts the entire ep. Okay, yeah, I, I've, I've seen all I need to see. Listen, <laughs> the one, the first reveal was one thing, but when they show like more and more commercials of it, that it, they don't really change their attitude. I think you can get your your thoughts on the show just from watching all their new trailers and stuff for that alone especially that movie trailer like oh my god it's gonna look that looks just so bad when it comes to judging a cartoon like i give like maybe two or three episodes a chance first and then um eventually like i would just lose my patience if it doesn't impress me well like that's the thing that i had with um what is it some uh the amazing world of gumball i know that it has like a following but upon watching the series i was just frustrated Hmm. But at the very least, I give the show a chance. Let me put. Let me give my own example. Like I gave the, let, at the risk of this being controversial because of what it is, I gave the new Star Wars series a chance. But the la um, the Force Awakens was my least favorite one, and I have not bought it with the Last Jedi. I, uh, you know, it's funny that you say that because I used to like the Last Jedi more than Force Awakens, but then I found out about. The history behind the uh, movie and what Ryan Johnson did compared to what J.J. Uh, Abrams intended. Well, let's not, this is not. I don't think you want. I don't want. Well, I don't think I want to get into it personally because I've I've done enough with that. I just I've kind of like blacklisted Star Wars because of all that drama. Uh, I mean, at this point, yeah, uh, the Last Jedi really, really bummed me and my husband out. We're, we were not even bothered to see Solo. Right away for it to come out on Blu-ray. I mean, Solo was a resounding meh. I mean, I like it was a fun ride, but at the end, like everything that you expected to happen happened, and there wasn't really anything that came out of the fucking. 
Like there was nothing that really fucking like, oh, I didn't. There was nothing that was like, oh, you know, I I didn't know that. This completely changes my outlook of the character. It's like that. Was... Although I feel I did... like it played it too safe. To be I, did, I did hear that Solo introduces the the legitimately worst character in the series, even worse than Jar Jar Binks. Is that true? Oh, Is it... oh, God. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. I'm trying to think of which character they're talking about, and I think it's the ace. The actually, I'm not going to say it because there's probably people that still want to see it. I don't know. Does anybody care about spoilers? I still want to see it, to... despite the uh, like. I I know who you're talking, know who you're talking about. Well, I kept it vague just because of spoilers and all that. Just so yeah, don't really don't really talk about it. Hmm. Okay, oh, yeah, move, there's that. I, okay, there's that on all that. So, yeah. Like, so sum it up, like, Ooh. yeah, you should, re should really give something a chance before you give your full thoughts on it. But if it does make that much my first impression, then I think you have some ground in saying your thoughts on it. Oh, dang. Max did an amazing job. Yeah. Sorry, mm. different Max. To be personal, um, as far as Star Wars goes, at this point, I would just, just watch the original trilogy. I didn't even grow up on the original trilogy. I actually saw the prequels first, then the original. And honestly, I know, I know the prequels are like quote unquote bad, but they had they still have their own merits. I remember liking the prequels a lot. I yeah. mean, Revenge of the Sith. Fuck. I still, I still. <laughs> enjoy... Can we just start a fuck counter? Um. <laughs> Is that like sure. a Krillin own counter in DBZ a bridge? There you go. I'm Master Code. <laughs> he, he's been here for like the past 15 well, minutes. Well, he was quiet the whole damn time! He, he fucking announced himself when he showed up. Been here for like only five minutes, actually. No, I'm just looking at a comic that Dr. Wolf's nephew's been posting that his dad hired him to do. It's really cool. Okay, Jake Amrihis, uh, Amrikus, I can't say the name right. I can't stand Attack of the Clones. Eh. I hated that one. And it's mostly because of just Anakin and his behavior. He was so... I just don't like how Anakin was represented for any of those episodes. I didn't mind, I didn't... um... I didn't mind his, uh, his character in Revenge of the Sith. Because at least that one seemed legit, because he didn't want to, you know. Um... But with Attack of the Clones, he was such an overgrown child. And the thing that worried me is that before, like, Revenge of the Sith came out, I had the serious, uh, like, the serious, like, worry that Anakin was going to join the dark side out of a cop-out or out of a pity party. And that would have devalued Darth Vader so much. And thank God they didn't do that. Oh goody, you have to collect a certain amount of items in order to get to the final boss! <laughs> oh yeah, if, if you lose, lose all your lives, you lose those items, by the way. I yeah, it, you can, at least you can go to the, the boss stages in, uh, again instead of replaying all these levels. So oh, I see a question for Aeon. Aeon, Aeon of Dreams, what made you go with a demon pony? Because he likes to... Fuck! I don't think Aeon has talked talk the whole time he's been here. Hey, Peter. Yeah? You have a question. Uh... Oh, yeah, I, I have a question. Uh, hello there, Jerry. <laughs> it's me, Aeon. Uh, what was that question again? <laughs> you are not Aeon. You're not <laughs> like that. Uh, what's the question? What, uh, what made you decide to go with a demon pony, OC? Oh, yeah, that's, um long and interesting thing uh partially because i thought it was um uh personally significant in a very uh occult sense um but it also had to do with a lot of uh gnostic cosmology so i should point out that when i talk about demonology as i perceive it with aeon it is not it's not christian demonology or even christian cosmology for the most part um i mean it more in like a gnostic thelemic Gnostic Thelmic Setian kind of way. Um, but, uh, so you might wonder, okay, what's the, uh, what's the point of the Incubus? Well, the Incubus is someone who, um, even though they express it sexually, their biggest thing is all about self-knowledge and, uh, individual, like, revealing, so... Uh, oh, fuck! 
uh, they just choose to express it sexually, and that's a bit of a, and that reveals a bit of a secret. You can um, discover deep truths about yourself by examining your sexuality. Um, but so the idea is, is that uh, I can use Aeon to reveal deeper parts of other people's characters in a narrative sense. Obviously, I need I tweak the other parts of him in meta to make that work out. But uh, yeah, ultimately the inspiration came from um, you might say personal gnosis and uh, interest. You know, sorry to change the subject. Um, how many of you are thinking of the moon theme from DuckTales right now? Oh god, I was too. I remember the moon theme from this one because this level was my childhood nightmare. Oh, really this stage? Not the next one after, actually. Oh, uh, the one where you have to like avoid all those angry stars? Yes, yes. Yeah, not gonna lie, that was a pain in the ass. But this... that level alone kept making me lose all my golden coins. Just so much reen. And I actually played this on the original Game Boy and Fuck! all that, so... Wow, I'm echoing like crazy. So by, so by the way, Master Code, have you, have you been clowning around in Dead by Daylight? Master Code? I think you killed them. Are you yes. still alive? Somebody poke him with, a, somebody poke him with a stick. I poked I probably poked it with a stick, or in this case the stick is a hook, a sacrificial meat cut. <laughs> Cause that's the game. Run away from a killer or get sacrificed on a meat hook. <laughs> uh, a stick could be useful at this uh at any minute. Well you could play the doctor and get his pain stick. This is my boom stick! No, it's more like a punishment stick. I am desperately form. trying to bite my tongue right now for the next thing I want to say, but Solar probably knows what I'm thinking! I want it. <laughs> I, I, that's because I. Okay, that's because we like it when he says it. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna get the video and I'm probably gonna unnerve you a bit when I share this Golden Fox because it's the latest killer in Dead by Daylight. Hang on. Um. Well, uh, uh, let me finish the stage first. I, I can oh, beat okay. this. Go ahead. Well, just go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll just put it in the Discord for when you're ready. But sure, you may sure, want, not sure. want. You may not want to get, you know, show the stream though. Just like. Is it like NSFW or something? No, it's just um some. Because of what it is, like we don't want people to break freak out over it. Uh -oh. Why are the stars angry at you? What did you do to the stars? Like, remember when I showed you all the other he killer trails? He said, fuck horoscopes, that's why. Because <laughs> remember when I showed you all the other killer trailers, some of them were, like, really creepy and all that? So that's why. I guess you could say I'm in the... Uh... Nah, that wouldn't be too funny of a joke. Okay. Ask Golden, have you played Pac-Man 2, the new adventures on the SNES or Genesis? No, I have not. Well, there you go. Yeah. Ah, oh, don't die! You're not allowed to die. I've heard yeah, a star... By the way, I've heard, yeah, heard of a... Star-Crossed Lovers, but I've never heard of a Star-Crossing Adventurer. <laughs> You've never heard Heard of a star crossing adventurer? Have you played any game that takes place in fucking space? Well, they, they, have, you, have you ever played a fucking Metroid game in your life? Have you ever described it <laughs> in that fashion, though? That's the fuck. That's the whole point of Metroid is going to have fucking. Have you ever described place. it in like, those exact words? I have now, motherfucker. No, my point <laughs> still stands. Hashtag everyone. I'm working on making plushies of pony OCs, but I'm doing the mane and tails differently using yarn instead of fabric. If any of you guys want one of your own done this way, please let me know. Ooh. Selfless plugging, I see. Ah, Be sure shit. to plug in your DeviantArt link, Jesse. I'll have to take a look at it it's some other time. Plug, plug in your DeviantArt link so people can find you. Oh god! Oh, I'm watching this and it's gut wrenching. Ah. Okay, I got the video ready for you, Golden. When you're ready to get freaked out. Yeah, we kind of. I think we already saw it. 
No, this is a new one. Fuck! Hashtag ask everyone. Can someone please tell me what is wrong with me? I I, I made an awful joke back in 2016 and I reach and I re treated into a bubble because nobody told me what I did wrong. Give me a stern talking to. I need to know more than ever. Uh You know, it's kind of funny because I think this is the only game where Mario's actually worn a spacesuit when he's in space. I yeah, love nobody acknowledged right? that question. Let's just move on. I'm sorry, Thiago. Can't help you. <laughs> that was kind of random. All right, so I think it's uh, I think it's time that I take a break from this briefly before I continue the game further. So I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode and take a look at that video that Dever wants to show me. Okay. <laughs>